When you think about what is involved in game development, a few things probably pop in your head. Maybe the coding side, or the graphic side, or the sound design. Some people probably wouldn't think about animations. Animations may be a small part in your game, but they are fundamental building blocks that help to bring your game to life. In this video, I will be talking about how animations work in 3D, and how you can create your own animations and use them in Go Doink. First, we're going to start in Blender. Make sure you have a simple character model ready to be used. If not, don't worry, you can easily find a free character model on Sketchfab. And import it to Blender. Once you have that done, you need to rig the model. Rigging is when you create armatures for a mesh and create the weights. Armatures or bones are basically funny pyramid looking things. These pyramid looking things move and rotate. You associate vertexes to each armature. And when the armature transforms, then the associated vertexes transform with the armature. The vertexes associated to the armature are called weights. Now let's talk about how to rig your model. Click the add button, then click armature. Move the armature to the base of the model. Now go to edit mode and extrude the armatures in the shape of your character. Do the same thing for the legs. Once that is done, click Ctrl A to select all the bones, right click, and press Symmetrize. Now that the rig is created, let's talk about how to create weights for the armatures. Luckily Blender comes with a super easy way to automatically create weights. First click the armature, then shift click the character mesh, next click Ctrl P, and select with automatic weights. Automatic weights automatically creates the weights for each armature in your rig. For each armature, the vertexes closest to it will have weights on them. Now you can go to pose mode and move your armatures and you will see your character move with them. Some of your armature weights may be screwed up, so you have to manually fix it. Find the name of the bone whose weight is screwed up in edit mode. Then go to the green triangle tab in your properties and select the bone that was screwed up in vertex groups. Now change from object mode to weight paint. The vertexes in the red areas are more affected by the bone's movement. The blue areas are not affected at all by the bone. You can paint weight to make certain areas you need to be affected, to be affected. Or you can delete some weight if too much is affected. Now once you do that, you should see the weights working much better. Now let's create some animations. Make the bottom viewport bigger. Click on your rig and go to pose mode. In the property section, click on the yellow square to view the bones transform. At the bottom viewport is your timeline, and it contains all your keyframe information. You can change the time by moving the blue line, and you can play the timeline by clicking the play button. You should start by giving all your bones a keyframe of their default position. Go to point zero, click Ctrl A to select each bone, click I, then click rotation. Now you added rotation keyframes for each of your armatures. Now I'm gonna randomly animate my character to do some goofy dance. At frame five, I rotate the armature and add a keyframe. At frame 10, I'll rotate the armature a different way and add a keyframe. Now when I play from zero, you can see my character is animated. This is the basis of how most animations you see in video games or 3D renders work. You have a bunch of armatures with a bunch of keyframes and you end up with an animation. Now I want to create another animation for the character waving. To create a new animation, change one of your viewports to non-linear animation. Under your armature, you can see the animation you created. Click the push down button and you will see something called new action. Uncheck your other animation you made and start animating again. All the keyframes you add will be added to the new animation. Now we can export as a GLB into our Godoink project. Once you open it, you will see it has an animation player containing all your animations. You can even edit the animation in Godoink. Click on the animation player, then click on your skeleton. Click this bone button at the top, select an armature, move it however you want, and then click the key plus button. And the keyframe will be added. You don't even need to animate in Blender, you can just completely animate something in Godoink. But it's generally better to make your animations in Blender instead of Godoink. Once you learn how to make your own animations, you can turn your game into a work of art. Animation is not just about movement. It's about storytelling, expression, and bringing your games to life. So, experiment, iterate, and let your creativity flow. Until next time, happy coding and happy animating.